Good morning. I'm with you live <clears throat> this morning. It's uh, June 8, 2020, and this is the daily update for, uh, for Elmira Baptist Church. Yesterday, Ken Lynch was with us. If you did not get a chance to watch the live stream, let me encourage you to go back uh, and look for that. It's been posted on Sermon Audio. It should be on the Facebook page. Some of you are, don't have Facebook available to you. Look for, for it on Sermon Audio, his preaching. Uh, here in a few hours, it should be up on Facebook, and I'm hoping to include his uh, playing, his instruments. Yesterday, he played for us his violin. He played for us those glasses, uh, and it just, it's really neat. It's best live. So if you missed it yesterday and you're comfortable coming out and you live here in Solano County, let me invite you to come out tonight, 7 o'clock, uh, and also tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, and Wednesday night, 7 o'clock, and Thursday, 7 o'clock. And Friday, 7 o'clock, we have the privilege of having Ken Lynch with us all week long because uh, his meeting that was this coming week was, uh, the week after us was canceled. I said, just stay with us. Enjoy being with us. We'll enjoy you. He's going to preach for us again next Sunday. And uh, I'm, my mind is, is churning, and I've been talking to folks. Uh, you, if you would, tune in all week. I have some other updates coming up about where, how the church will be moving forward and want you to be informed on that. Uh, remember, this month's theme is reaching our community, and we are going to have to be a little bit creative. A lot of people are still fearful. A lot of people are still staying at home. And what, what can we do to reach out to our community? I passed out a track yesterday, and someone said, what is this? Not in a Mad way, just what is this? Well, I don't even know what this is. It's a gospel tract. It tells you how you how Jesus loves you, how you can know you're going to heaven. So let's be creative in our opportunities to get out the gospel. Do be praying, if you would, for our upcoming meetings with Ken Lynch. We had a day of fasting and prayer on Saturday, and six of you uh, came out and joined Ken Lynch and I. So it was eight of us all together, and I thank you for uh, your prayers, even those of you who are not able to join us, your prayers um, for the upcoming meetings. Take your Bibles, Jeremiah chapter 15. I hope you're in this book every day. Uh, my time is in the morning, and it just doesn't feel like the day is right. If I wake up late, or if something happens early, and I miss my time with God, and I have to catch up with it later. But uh, this morning, I spent quite a bit of time in, in, in the Word and really enjoyed it. It was very refreshing to me. Jeremiah chapter 15, look at verse 16 with me. <clears throat> thy words were found, and I did eat them, and thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart, for I am called by thy name, O Lord, God of hosts. Thy words were found, and I did eat them, and thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. Is that true for you, that God's words are the joy of and rejoicing of your heart. I came across this quote in a devotional I was reading. What truly brings comfort to the troubled heart and consolation to the confused mind is the word of God. What truly brings comfort to the troubled heart and consolation to the confused mind is the word of God. I'll be frank, with, our, uh, uh, with my uh, schedule turned upside down, with different uh, expectations and requirements as I go to the store, as I go about my business. Sometimes the bank is closed at an odd hour or uh, uh, businesses have been shut down. It's easy to become discombobulated, to become confused, to become, okay, now what do I do today? Some of us, uh, we're used to a, a nine to five job and, and we knew when to show up in the morning, knew when we got off in the afternoon and now that's gone. What we need most of all is not distractions. What we need most of all is not just to sleep. What we need most of all is not definitely not drink or eat. What we need most of all is the Word of God. This brings comfort to the troubled heart. It brings clarity to the confused mind. So, Obviously, we're not back to normal. I'm not just talking about Elmira Baptist Church. I'm talking about California where we live. It's not back to normal. Some things are back. Some things are not. This is going to be a lot of fits and starts. Some days are going to be a lot of fits. And other days are going to be things starting. 
And uh, I hope you'll be uh, watching these updates as I prepare, as we prepare uh, to, to continue some of the ministries of, the, uh, of Elmira Baptist Church that have been stopped. But be patient with me if you would. And remember, the Word of God brings comfort to the troubled heart and clarity to the confused mind. Thy words were found, and I did eat them, and they were the joy and rejoicing of mine heart. And why is that? Because I'm called by your name. The believers were first called Christians at Antioch, Christ ones at Antioch were called by his name. Let's find that daily dose of God's word that we need. Because God is still in control. You'll see me again tomorrow.